Hello. Hi. Who are you? I'm Paige. I like your bow tie. Thank you. You seem awfully young, Paige. Are you with an adult who's taking this class? No. Dr. Sturgis heard about my research on quantum chromodynamics at high temperatures and invited me to audit his course. Is that so? Yes. He's been super nice. <laughs> Interesting. Well, just so we're clear, he's my mentor, he's my Meemaw's boyfriend, and he had spaghetti and hot dogs at my house. The spaghetti goes on hot dogs. No. You realize this is a very advanced class. We'll be discussing deriving nuclear physics from the quark model. Do you know if he'll be doing a full color optic calculation with matrix manipulations? I do not. Do you know how to differentiate under the integral sign? No. Oh, do you know anything? I know you're in my spot. I'm still thinking it might be jealousy. Give me one reason why I would be jealous. Well, Dr. Sturgis means a lot to you, and now he's paying attention to somebody else. You used to being the only smart kid around, and now there's another. Oh, and there's the possibility. I said one reason, thank you. And we're home. Hey, Shelly, guess who's coming over tomorrow? Your new friend, Paige. Okay, I'm gonna go. So, Paige didn't make a good first impression, but that can change. What's that new Star Trek show? Next Generation? When that first came on, you said a new Star Trek without Dr. Spock could never be good, but I've seen you watching it. Well, first of all, it's Mr. Spock. Dr. Spock writes books about babies. My apologies. And second of all, Paige isn't a TV show. She's a person, and we all know how I feel about people. Must have been most difficult for you. The thought there. of spending an afternoon with Paige seemed excruciating, but I wanted to make my mother happy. I was torn. The release of emotions, Mr. Spock, is what keeps us healthy. Emotionally healthy, that is. Luckily, the wise words of Gene Roddenberry, flatly delivered by Leonard Nimoy, resolved my dilemma. That may be, Doctor. However, I have noted that the healthy release of emotion is frequently very unhealthy. I realized if Mr. Spock could rise above his emotions while the fate of the Enterprise hung in the balance, certainly I could tolerate Paige for a few hours. You actually believe in the multiverse theory? Very much so. It's the most elegant interpretation of quantum mechanics. So you really think there are an infinite number of universes? Stephen Hawking believes it, so yes, I do. Well, if there are an infinite number of universes, I think that theory is dumb in all of them. <laughs> this is fun. I don't get to have discussions like this with kids at my school. Do you? No. Do you ever wish you were just like everyone else? Not at all. <laughs> Me neither. I love being smarter than everyone. <laughs> Me too. I started to think that Paige and I might have more in common than I thought. Maybe my mother was right. I really did just need to get to know her better. Checkmate. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> Red alert. <laughs> Phaser, stand by to fire on my order. Guess that makes me the smartest. I don't know if 10-year-old Spock ever flipped a chessboard, but 10-year-old Sheldon sure did. <laughs>